Today, the 11th of October is the 80th birthday of a living legend, Amitabh Bachchan. Now, you can know him as from different names. You can know him as Big B. You can know him as what he was known during the 80s. That is the one-man industry. But the fact about the matter is that Amitabh Bachchan has done so many things in so many different spheres that it would be difficult for a single article or a single video to do justice to the amount of contribution this person has made to India in the creative field. But this is an attempt to uh, summarize at least some of what he's done. Uh, let's go back to uh, the 70s. Well, he made his uh, debut uh, in 1969 in a film, but uh, it was later on in the 70s when uh, he got <clears throat> Famous because of the tag as the angry young man. Because of films such as Zanzir, Diwar, Shole. Now as far as uh, Zanzir is concerned, there is this iconic scene which he has with Pran. Where Pran is of course the, the gunda, the mastan uh, who walks into the police station, is going to sit on the chair and Amitabh Bachchan just kicks the chair away. And then says that uh, this isn't your... Uh, dad's uh, police station that you can just sit over here of course i've roughly paraphrased this in english i'm not going to uh, say it in hindi for that please definitely have a look at the film uh, but you know films like diwar where uh, he played the brother of uh, shashi kapoor shashi kapoor was the good samaritan the police officer amitabh bachchan the person who had taken to the uh, crime world but there was a lot of anger in his role there was a lot of angst and the reason uh, it really resonated with the audience, with the Indian people, is because this is exactly what they were feeling at that point of time. Uh, the corruption, the red tapism, the emergency which came later, the crime, uh, the politicians, the false promises, so many of these things uh, because of which uh, the lack of uh, the, the uh, high rising levels of unemployment, there was a lot of angst in the youth and Amitabh Bachchan channelize this and of course for this uh, we have to mention Salim Javed, uh, Salim Khan and uh, Javed Akhtar, the writers who created this character of Amitabh Bachchan, who wrote these films, uh, countless number of films, uh, of course until uh, th there was a breakup uh, in, the, in the early 80s between Salim Javed but that is a story for uh, another video and another time. They are the ones who created this iconic character and gave it to us. Uh, throughout the uh, 70s and the 80s, uh, Amitabh Bachchan came to be known as the one-man uh, film industry because uh, it, it just the film just had to star him and it would be a super hit. Also, we need to understand the history from which uh, um, Amitabh Bachchan's rise came. Before Amitabh Bachchan, the first superstar of Indian cinema was Rajesh Khanna and they were part of that iconic film called Anand. Uh, which of course is known for both their roles, especially Rajesh Karna's role. But then uh, the fall of Rajesh Karna took place. He had those 15 famous hits. Uh, frankly speaking, that's, that's quite an unbeatable record. And like Shah Rukh Khan once said in an interview, uh, Rajesh Karna, you know, you really can't touch. There is, only, there is only really one Rajesh Karna. So then after that came Amitabh Bachchan, who became the next biggest superstar. But what the important point uh, to note uh, over here is the fact that in towards the end of the 80s he took a sabbatical from films and there were political turmoils he got involved in politics didn't go very well for him uh, secondly of course uh, he started a company called ABCL which again um, if, if you look at uh, the in the entirety of it it really sort of backfired and there were a lot of debts there were people who he owed money who would uh, knock at his door, uh, at his uh, bungalow and threaten the guard, threaten him, uh, roll out all sorts of abuses. So this man who had been the superstar, the one man industry, the legend, probably the greatest film star, uh, the greatest film star of all time in Bollywood saw this real hard, steep, heavy fall from grace. But then begins the second chapter of his story which literally redefined uh, the the definition of legend because of the the comeback which he made 
it really started on two different points one was there's a very famous story which goes at 6 o'clock in the morning amitabh bachchan went to yash chopra's house and said yes ji please aap mere ko koi kaam do yash chopra at that time was mulling around the idea of mohabbate and that is how you got uh, that iconic dialogue uh, called uh, parampara pratishtha prathashan hai uh, where amitabh bachchan plays uh, the principal uh, of that uh, of that of school and college and uh, he is paired up with sharukh khan which was the pair up of uh, the pair up really of the decade really and everybody was very excited about it and the film became a huge hit and of course at the same time came kbc again somebody of that stature coming down to the small screen in a new format of a show and it was a super hit 9 pm every day we would all sit down and watch amita bachchan um uh, playing kaun banega karodpati kbc with so many different contestants uh looking at the uh, looking at the questions trying to answer it the whole concept of the phone line phone a friend audience poll all of these things were very new um the current generation generation z as they are called uh needs to know about these uh, these things which really happened right now of course you know there's instagram and social media and their instagram lives and fb lives etc but at that time uh, this was a very novel concept now of course which is it's been done to death with the number of game shows and the number of reality shows etc it uh, that have come into the market but at that time it was a very very um a bold concept a novel concept and amita bachchan was a part of it uh 9 pm on weekdays became as iconic for kbc just as 11 am used to be on sundays in the late 80s and early 90s uh, when mahabharat used to come on doordarshan and the entire family uh, used to be in the house watching mahabharat all together now um if you talk about the films which he has done in his second half i'm not even talking about the first half in his second half there is bagban uh, which has become so famous for family values that there are um, an unending amount of memes which are being made on that still uh, it's a very popular joke used by stand up comedians ax which was a sort of a remake of face off where he was paired against manoj bajpai kante where he uh, uh, played one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, gangsters along with sanjay dutt and so many others of course i have to mention black because and if you haven't seen black that is one movie which you really have to see um, the role which amitabh bachchan played of this teacher who is training this blind girl who grows up and is played by rani mukherjee rani mukherjee of course was fantastic that was literally the performance of a lifetime and amitabh bachchan could have just retired after that and lived on his laurels he had been the big man in the 80s um he came back with kbc and mobate he did so many other roles he did a fantastic role as black and he could have really retired after that and you know said that i'm hanging up my boots i don't need to do on this anymore he lives on as a legend but that's something which where his sort of work ethic and his dedication and his interest and his passion and his willingness to work more and go on and explore and experiment really comes up uh he did so many other roles after that that you don't know which one to mention in a video or an article there was uh, there was pa i mean they say that uh, the makeup for uh, for amita bachchan he had to sit for at least 3 hours to put the makeup of pa to uh, be able to get into the character and look like a child who has that degenerative disease a uh, pink uh where uh, amita bachchan plays the lawyer uh, most recently brahmastra right everybody still wants amita bachchan to be part of their movies it's like literally when you hear a narration if you're in hollywood it would be a morgan freeman if you're in india it would be a amita bachchan uh in fact i would also like to mention some of the not so big blockbusters because people are so obsessed with 100 crores and 200 crores and box office figures we really forget about these little little nuggets of films which um are really really good amazing performances personally the one which i felt which was uh, saif ali khan and jackie shroff were also part of it and um uh, even i think bamar irani and uh, bamar irani and uh, 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 who else uh, sanjay dutt 
आई बिलीव एक लव्या एक लव्या वॉज अ फंटेस्टिक फिल्म अगेन ग्रेट परफॉर्मेंसेज बाय ऑल बट ग्रेट परफॉर्मेंस बाय अमिताभ बच्चन नॉट टॉक्ट अबाउट सो मच बिकॉज अगेन यू नो थिंग्स विच आर लाइक बॉक्स ऑफिस नंबर्स आर रिपीटेड इन वेब आर्टिकल्स एंड आर्टिकल्स एंड वीडियोज एंड इंटरव्यूज दीज थिंग्स आर सॉर्ट ऑफ फॉर्गॉटन देन वी कम ऑन टू दी एड्स विच ही इज मेड आई मीन एट अ सर्टन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई थॉट अमिताभ बच्चन वॉज literally doing an ad for every product whether it is hair oil or whether it is powder or whether it is some other product it is a, a, a clothing apparel a food product amitabh bachchan was everywhere the bottom line is amitabh bachchan's story this man who's turned 80 years old today his story is a great one which needs to be told not only because it tells us about the uh, a great tipping point in bollywood and the in the hindi film industry in the indian film industry but at the same point because it has shows that this man has had so many falls and has risen up again and how so falling down yes that does happen in our lives but we can make iconic comes back comes back like uh, we can make iconic comebacks like amitabh bachchan doesn't always have to be as iconic because uh, that was really at another level but it shows that um, in life there are a lot of ups and downs and uh, literally this man's life should be used as a case study uh, to look at bollywood the creative industry life struggles personal life um, the journey ahead and how even at the age of 80 this man is working so much right so no need to sort of hang up your boots there is a lot which you can do even at that age clearly he is doing a lot more than uh, some of the people my age are doing but yes here's wishing mr amitabh bachchan a very happy birthday and uh, many more to come